Hi guys, how y'all doing? I hope you're having a good day today. Today I'm going to do a video about how I grow my hair long and I hope you find it helpful and useful. Okay, so you know, um, took me a while to get it this long, a little time. And um, you know they say about skin care, to moisturize, moisturize, moisturize your skin. The same goes for your hair. Moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. And that's exactly what I do every day, every day, every day. I'm <laughs> triple talking. Anyway, so um, it's taken me a little time to grow. I do color my hair um, for, I don't know, a few years now. I haven't used the blow dryer. I haven't used any hot irons or... The yeah, hot irons and no blow dryers, and I let it dry naturally. Um, just let it, you know, just after I get out of the shower, I'll brush it. Um, sometimes, like in the shower, I call it shower brush actually, and I don't use a brush, I just kind of let the water, you know, I shampoo my hair, let it sit for a minute or 30 seconds or so, and then. I'll put the conditioner, you know, after I rinse the shampoo, I'll put the conditioner in and I'll let the conditioner set like 30 seconds, a minute, and then I'll wash out the conditioner and I just let the water, kind of like the stream of water, just gently um, stream through my hair and I kind of like work it with my hands a little bit lightly, like separate the strands of my hair and I could feel like the tingles and stuff. Um, just kind of like, like go away, like just let it keep going down the long strands of my hair and just keep help separating and helping detangle my hair in the shower. And then I'll do this side too, um, the same way, how the stream of the water um, just kind of like help, like I call it shower brush my hair and just separate it and if there's tangles just let it keep like you know, going through all the length of my hair until they're all out. So sometimes I'll do that and then I won't even brush my hair. I just do that, you know, make sure you have it like separated where you like it. And um, you could shower brush it and without the brush. And um, so actually another thing I do too is most of the time I do brush my hair after I get out of the shower. I shampoo it, I condition it. And then I put in some leave-in conditioner spray that moisturizes my hair. And um, then I, I let it set for like 30 seconds or so. And um, then I will brush my hair lightly um, with, the, with the brush and go lightly over it softly because um, you don't want to stretch your hair when it's wet. And so I go, I brush it lightly and softly, and then if I do have a tangle, I just go real slow. And then I will spray some more leave-in um, detangler um, conditioner if um, I do have a tangle. Um, I have thin hair, and um, I still get a lot of tangles, which um, I've always had um, used detangler for a lot of years, ever since um, I started like kindergarten, my mom would buy the... Um, the detangler spray. She probably bought it before then, but I remember having it. She would brush my hair like before I go to school, and I had tingles. And my hair was really, really long when I was a kid. And um, I've cut my hair a couple times. A couple times when I was a teenager, and um, that um, I wish I didn't do it. But you know, when you're a teenager, you like to try different things and color your hair different colors and um, I've been coloring my hair since I was a teenager. So what I like to do now is like wait a little bit in between coloring, like um, wait a while, so long I can wait because it does make your hair healthier if you wait a while before you color again. But um, I'm planning on coloring my hair soon. Um, if you watch my other video, you can see and then I'm gonna be going blonde. And um, I'm gonna, I've done it before, I've had blonde hair before. And I'm going to do it again. It's just getting my nerves up to do it. But hopefully I'll do it soon. I'll let you guys know and you can see how it looks. It's just I want to make sure that um, it's fine. 
and everything does good with my hair. Okay, so, and I hope you guys all grow long, long, long hair. And I know these ideas will be helpful. They should be helpful for you because they work for me. And I just hope they work for you guys too. Um, a lot of people told me, like, um, you know, um, from time to time, they, they, they used to always tell me, well, the good way to, like, to make sure that your hair grows long is give it a trim like every few months or so. Um, so I would do that a couple times. But the only thing I noticed when I'd get a trim, my hair is shorter. And I did not like that. I was like, oh no, all that work to grow the hair. And then I'm cut, cutting an inch or two off or a half inch. And then I'm, uh, it sounds like I'm backtracking. And my hair, um, before... Like it would have a lot of split ends and breakage and separating, my hair separating. And um, I didn't like that. It was like all over my hair because I used to use the hot irons a lot. And I'd blow dry my hair a lot because I wanted more like body in my hair because my hair was so thin. But um, that didn't work for me because it gave me lots and lots of split ends, lots of breakage. And um, my head, my my hair, not my head, my hair would be splitting like a strand of hair would be splitting like three separate ways, and I did not like that. So I was using um, the iron to straighten my hair because I wasn't like into all this wavy curls. And then I'd use a blow dryer to straighten my hair and give me more body and. Um, I just learned to accept my hair, and um, we all have beautiful hair just naturally, and um, so I learned to accept my hair just how it is, and so that's where I'm at right now, I'm just accepting it, you know. My hair does like kind of go in strands, it like separates, like, it's always done it like like a, a group of the hair, like, like kind of like, see how it does like that? It's always done that. People have commented on that, and I used to try to always use the curling iron, not the curling iron, but the straight iron and the blow dryer to stop that from happening, and um, it was a lot of work, a lot of time invested, and I just pretty much didn't help my hair growing long, which is too much breaking and um, split ends, and so... I'm like, I know a lot of people want to grow their hair long again. Maybe did what I did, like um, using the hot irons, the blow dryers, and um, you can experiment. Just have your hair dry naturally, like mine. And um, also too, like after my hair dries, I don't um, brush it anymore. You know, when I was yeah, like younger, like a teenager and stuff, I always wanted to brush it afterwards because it felt like. It was like so like um, more shinier and more bouncier and more body um, if I would brush it, you know, and I'd want to brush it multiple times during the day. So I cut all that out too. I don't brush it multiple times during the day like I used to. And um, so, and I'll tell you the, um, the shampoos and the conditioner and the leave-in spray that I use, I'll let you guys know. Oh, you probably could see, you could have seen it, seen it the whole time. That's hiding right there. Anyway, this is the Pantene. This is the five-in-one. Um, I got this at Costco, and it works very well. It um, has moisturizer. Like I said, moisturizer we need for our hair too, and um, it it repairs damaged um, damaged hair too. Um, you know from processing or coloring or or styling your hair it does work very very well um, I've been using Pantene for a long 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 time now and it does help it helps a lot and so I you know I use like um, two pumps of this for my hair and then I'll lather it up leave it about 30 seconds to a minute make sure that my hair gets good and clean and then also after that I, let me see if I can get it guys I will get the conditioner. I also use this 5-in-1 conditioner. This moisturizes and it works very, very well too. I, I also use two pumps of this and um, I pay close attention to the ends and the longer hair. I, I do all that first. You know, I mix my hands together, 
and kind of go like this both sides and kind of like that and go down and make sure it's all like moisturized really good and then with whatever's left on my hands I just go like this with the conditioner just left on my hands and go like this then I just kind of take all my hair up and mix it all up up there <laughs> but not too much so I don't get too many tangles but um I do that and I leave it on about 30 seconds to a minute and um it works really good um then then I will rinse it out and I either do the shower brush or I just rinse it out sometimes I don't do the shower brush not every day but you can do it every day if you prefer that and um so then I rinse it out and um and when I'm done with that um then when I'm out out of the um shower I will um put in this um you know towel dry my hair first and then I will put in this um it's leave-in Pantene leave-in conditioner this moisturizes and repairs damage and detangles and this is the stuff I've used for years and years and years and I love it and it works really really good um, I think it, it, it's like really detangles everything gets all the tangles out moisturizes and sometimes like what I'll even do is like if my hair is dry and I get up in the morning like I, I even put it on my dry hair like to, um, to like if I don't feel like you know if it looks kind of I need to like a touch it real quick so make it look like it's been brushed and more more manicured I'll do that and um, so this is um, I guess you could call this my hairspray too because like some people put hairspray in their hair um, I don't use any hairspray or anything this is um, the leave-in conditioner if I want like my hairspray kind of stuff I'll use this leave-in conditioner like in the daytime if my hair is dry like, especially for like the next day if I have something to do before I take my next shower. So I will use this, put this on my hair, and it kind of like um, tames my hair, make, makes it like better. So if you, this stuff works very, very, very good. So I think this is good for everybody to use because um, I know we all have problems with tangles, um, whether we have really thick hair or really really thin hair like me we all have problems with the tangles and this is really really good to to use and I love this stuff and I know you will too <coughs> excuse me guys and anyway so if you want to know more about it I'm gonna post more videos and do some reviews on this Pantene pretty much it seems like it's a Pantene review but I'm trying to help everybody if you want to grow your hair long um, tell you how I do it because um, people ask me from time to time how do you grow your hair long and so I tell them and um, I, tell, I like to spread the word if I know something I'll let you know and um, that's what all my videos are about and um, I love telling you guys about everything that I'm doing okay so this is this is the shampoo right shampoo but I've been worn shampoo uh, it moisturizes uh, repairs damage. This is uh, um, the 5-in-1 Pantene conditioner. It does the same thing. It repairs um, your hair and it will take really good care of your hair, both these two. And um, the conditioner is very, very good. It's lightweight. It doesn't really weigh my hair down because I still have curled in my hair and waves and stuff. So it's really good if you guys want to try both these. And then try my um, leave-in conditioner, which works very, very well, too. Like I said, this stuff works good. So if you have tangles in your hair, or like, you know, if you get your hair, like, windblown and stuff, and then the next day you're, like, taking the shower, or that not evening, taking the shower, and, you know, wind kind of tingles up your hair and kind of dries it out and stuff. And this stuff works very, very well to take the tangles out, to rehydrate your hair, moisturize your hair, and repair any damage that's done to your hair from the wind or the sun. Again, this stuff is good, 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 so try it. And let me know what you think of it, and I hope it works for you. So we'll see how it goes, okay, guys? So leave-in conditioner Pantene. 
And I'm gonna do a, be doing a review on, on these guys right here to let you more, know more about them. But for me, like I said earlier, um, trimming the hair did not work for me. All I did was like take take length off and um, say, oh, you'll have your hair will look thicker and thicker and if you cut it and uh, I was like, I don't know. It looks more like a layered cut because my mom, um, she, she was a beautician and cosmetologist and um, she used to always do like a layer cut. Um, like she cut my family's hair and stuff and her friends and stuff and her hair. And she used to cut my hair until I just like no more cutting it because I never went to a salon or anything ever in my life. Um, I've always like cut my own hair and um, like from time to time I've had bangs in the past and for a lot of years I just cut my bangs and then I went crazy on my hair a couple times when I was a teenager like I said and um, I just I would cut it. I had it like pretty short a couple times. But I did cut it a couple times when I was a teenager and um, I've always like when I got older just cut my own hair but um, I haven't cut my hair for a long time now and um, I had my mom trim the back of my hair uh, a few times when I was younger and um, that's about it. I think either my mom or me are the only ones that's cut on my hair in the past but um, I'm not going to cut on my hair anymore. I'm just going to let it do what it wants to do and grow out. And that's what I've been putting it to. And I just, I just love my hair now. You know, we all have to love our hair. We all have beautiful hair. And um, I think the natural looks the best for me. And um, I like everybody's natural hair. It's just, um, you know, the conditioner and the shampooing and leave-in conditioner makes a big, big difference, I've noticed. Because I, in the past, like I said, I spent lots and lots of times blow-drying my hair ironing it to straighten out these curls and this waviness and trying to keep it from separating so I just accept it now and um, I just let it do what it's gonna do because it actually does it anyway like I I would like like straighten my hair and blow dry it and straighten it with iron and then I just want to just like separate again and start waving up again so it's like Okay, I give up on that. So, just accept my hair, and I'm happy with it. It's fine. And, um, so, it has been growing, and I hope it gets longer. We'll see what happens. But, it's pretty long. It's, just, it's hard to tell on the video, but, yeah, it's pretty long. But, it's, like, thinner at the end, but it's okay with me. It just looks more like a layer cut, because a lot of people get layer cuts, you know. My mom did a lot, a lot of layer cuts, and, um... I just accept how it is, and we need the color, so you can tell us like different colors right now, but I want to color, and I'm going to see how it does with the blonde, and hopefully it turns out good, and I just have to do a lot of conditioning afterwards, and again, this, Pantene Spray and Conditioner, this stuff works wonders for my hair, and I hope it'll work for you, and um, you can try my ideas and see how they work. And I hope they work for you guys, okay? So spray in conditioner, leave in conditioner. It detangles, it moisturizes, it repairs, and it's very, very good. I think I got this one at the Dollar General, but you can get these like at Target, Walmart, um, some grocery stores you have to check around, and some other stores, you know. Um, they have them at different places, and um, I always get them. And, you know, they la it lasts for a while, actually. This bottle does last for me for quite a while, actually. And, um, and I do spray my hair every day with this stuff, and it works really, really good. And then, if I just want more body, I just kind of, like, crunch up my hair, like, crunch, crunch. And then I'll take this, I'll crunch it up, take this, crunch it up, and then crunch, like, soft crunches, you know? Just kind of crunch it up, make my own body. I'll be my own blow dryer, you know what I mean? Just kind of crunch it up. And um, that's what I do. And I hope my ideas work for you guys again. And let me know. You can comment below and let me know. And subscribe to me. I have a lot more ideas. And um, I can tell you my experiences throughout my life. And about my hair and different things. And um, 
again. Oh, they say the trim, trim, trim. I, uh, trimming did not work for me at all. It might work for some people, or a lot of people, I don't know, but for me it doesn't work. Um, this stuff is like the super wonder. I can't stress this enough. Super wonder. It very much helped my hair a lot. And also, the shampoo, the conditioner, both of these guys really, really work. Let me get the other one so you guys can see. Five of them, one. There's five goodnesses for both of these guys. So, Pantene, five and one. This is available at Costco for the larger size, if you guys have a Costco membership. If not, you can find Pantene at lots of different stores. And, um, like I said, Target, Walmart, grocery stores have Pantene. Pantene's everywhere, pretty much. And this stuff is, like, sometimes a little harder to come by. Uh, but I know they have this from time to time at Walmart and Target uh, because I bought it from there. And some grocery stores have it too. So you have to shop around. Or maybe like um, Rite Aid and CVS and Walgreens. Um, just have to look around. You can find it. And, um, you know, you can always do touch up throughout the day if you want to moisturize your hair. But this stuff works best if your hair is wet. I always put it on my hair wet. But I do put it on my hair dry too for like a touch up. If it's looking a little crazy but um, I just do it mostly like after I get out of the shower but I do it sometimes the next day too like I said to make it more tame and more manageable and um, it works and so if you want to try it try it and I hope you like it and you can see I hope my hair looks okay when I when I do that blonde hair color on it I think it will cuz I colored my hair blonde before you know and um, it looked okay. And then I have a story I told about the other color that I tried, the medium ash blonde. But um, I like my hair to be good and moisturized and conditioned before I color. I just have to take the time out to color the hair and get my nerves calmed down so I can get it done and everything will be fine. And to brush your hair too also, you know, you could do it like with a, with a comb, like a, with a large the comb and then the brush. Um, the brush that has the separated bristles, you know, the, like, kind of, like, I use the Goody, um, hairbrush. I'll have to show you guys the hairbrush I've been using, but I've been using that hairbrush for a long time. And it works really, really good. It's, like, my favorite hairbrush. I don't know. We probably all get our, like, our, our favorite hairbrush, our favorite shampoo, our favorite shampoo, our favorite conditioner, and, um, Actually, I like all Pantene. It all works really, really good. And I, lo I love this one, too. And Pantene also really, really smells really, really good. I like the smell and the fragrance of um, Pantene products. They're really good. And they make your hair feel really soft. And they make your hair feel really shiny. Like, my hair shines. Like, a, I get a lot of compliments on my hair shining. It might be a little dull from needing to be colored again. Um, we can see my natural hair is coming, growing out right now. I need to color it again. And then plus, I used some like some different color reds before, and you can tell it's like fading. And so I definitely need the color, and I'm gonna color because it's summertime, and I have those two last colors that were in my closet, so I need to use them up. And you can see like I have the darker color, so. When I do color it, I think this darker stuff's gonna be, it's still gonna be a little darker um, when I use the blonde, and then this up here will be lighter. But it'll turn out okay. And if I have to color it again, I can color it again if the uh, blonde doesn't come as light as, as um, I want it to. So I'll just go through the stages of the color. Uh, I've done it before, and then my hair gets really light. So I don't know how light it's going to go this time, but I hope it goes pretty light. And we'll see how it goes. My mom liked to color her hair blonde all the time. And she would go get the, um, at the beauty supply house. Um, she would get the, um, like the, the cream color and then the developer. 
and mix them together and then put toner in her hair and then a lot of times mostly she would just um she would use the box hair color and it worked fine you know that that you buy from the store and she would use that too and her hair was really blonde and pretty and um so i hope you guys like everything i hope you like um me talking about the the hair what to do with hair and um hopefully i was helpful and um you found my video interesting and again you can try it see how your hair grows um with the way i do it and let me know if you like it i hope you guys like it okay i have a lot of hair telling stories um i used to always always want to and then i you see it's curling irons on my hair too kind of like curl it back you know and um Oh, that was bad for my hair. I remember I used to get up for school when I, when I went to school. And I'd blow dry my hair in the morning, every morning. Take my shower, blow dry my hair, then have to heat up the curling iron, curl my hair, and um, all that processing on my hair um, was not really good. I just wanted to curl my hair and blow dry it. You know, especially when you're a teenager, you like to do a lot of stuff with your hair and coloring and but now I still like to color my hair I've been coloring my hair for years and years and years but um I learned no blow dryer no hot irons um let it dry naturally it works the best don't brush it all the time because I was constantly brushing my hair I love to brush my hair all the time and to get the shine but if you want shine, Pantene will give you plenty of shine, and it makes your hair look refreshing. And I know you guys will look great, okay? It will do wonders for you guys. Just try it and let me know, and I hope everybody will try this stuff. This stuff works really, really good. I can't tell you how many times this stuff is so useful, so helpful conditions, repairs, moisturizes, detangles. This stuff, if you get a lot of tangles, this stuff will take the tangles out. And sometimes, when you're brushing your hair, um, like if you have like a tangle that's kind of like hard to get out, what I do after I spray it, let it set, then brush, and then if I come like right here, have like a bad tangle, I'll just spray some more on it, and just kind of like go like this with it, and then I'll brush it slowly, hold my right here and just kind of brush slowly because I don't want to stretch my hair too much because it'll break. And then I'll just get the tangle out slowly. And then I'll spray this a couple times if I have to. And it works really, really good. And so if you try it, I think you will like it. Because I like, I've been using it for years. Oh no. Anyway. I guess you guys are still there. My computer. I got to do a video before I put the other camera in. But anyway, it kind of like closes off my camera. But anyway, I got this other camera. That's I'm going to be on another video. I'm, I'm going to, I got to do a review on it first before I hook it up on my um, laptop for you guys. Okay. And I hope you guys will like that too. And I hope you watched the video about that one too. Okay. Because I have a lot of videos I'm going to be putting on here. And like I said again, subscribe, like my videos. You can comment. And um, I like to talk to you guys and see how this stuff works for you. And here we go. We got it. Okay, I got it. And um, keep showing it because it's like, so I hope that you guys will get this stuff and try it. Okay? It does, does, does work. Because I knew people before I even started using it, and they were using it, and I was like, their hair is shiny, their hair is growing long, um, what are they doing? And then they're putting panting in their hair. And it does, does, does work. And like I said, this one takes out your tangles, makes brushing easier, and, uh, you know, it calms down on, you know, everything's like, it kind of damages our hair, even brushing. So that's why I don't like to brush my hair too much. But this stuff will definitely, definitely help with tangles, help with the shine, help with manageability, 
Now, if you have damage on your hair, moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. We all need moisturize for our moisture. And just like our skin, our hair needs lots of moisture. And I'm going to um, have some other videos about other products that are good for our hair. Um, some that work for me and some that don't. They also, in Pantene, before I go, they have another one that says uh, repair, damage repair. It comes like in a tube um, conditioner, which is really, really good. I have to get some more of that. And then I'll do a review on that for you guys and a video about that too. But it's like damage repair conditioner and it works really, really good. Okay? So, I hope you guys like my video. Pantene leave-in conditioner detangler. It's at the store. It's waiting for you to pick up. Bye-bye. And I hope you guys like it, okay? So, you can go to the store, check it out, and let me know how you guys like it when you, when you guys try it, okay? At home. Okay, I will see you guys soon. And I'm going to be posting more videos, and I hope you guys watch. And I will see you guys soon, okay? Um, see you. Subscribe. Bye-bye, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.